Welcome to Soup with the Boys. This is a weird episode because it's um, a girl and one boy, and I don't know where Owen is. I, I think he's dead. Mm-hmm. But this is Ava. You want me to say your last name? No, I don't like it, so it's okay. Just leave it. This is just Ava. Um, Ava. So, quarantine. Pokemon go to the polls. What are your thoughts? Um, quarantine has been terrible. And it's not because my parents are like forcing me to go inside. It's actually the opposite. They're forcing me to go outside. But no one can go outside with me. Because, you know, there's a pandemic. But my dad doesn't believe because he's from the 70s. Mm. Oh, just his own op- opinions. He doesn't believe in the virus. So, but yeah. everyone else. Died. My um, aunt is a Trump supporter. And yeah. she, Same. yeah, gross. She thinks that every COVID case earns a doctor like $35 million. And it's all a secret plot by the government or something like that. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> my aunt's also a Trump supporter, and um, she's also very Christian. And she wrote a bi- she wrote a Bible verse for Kanye. Remember how Kanye ran? Do you remember that? Yeah, and a weird thing too. Trump ran as a joke, like Kanye is in 1999. So mm-hmm. that means that in like 20 years, Kanye is going to be our president. Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> it's been a joke for Trump the whole time. Trump. Right. Need it. He doesn't want to be president. He didn't want to be president. He was like, hey, what if I ran? And then his friend was like, cool. And then he did. And he was like, okay, let's put kids in cages now. That's what we should do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he made that connection, but <laughs> he's doing um, his own thing. Yeah, what? He's kind of doing his own thing. He just, yeah. his thing affects all of us. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um, yeah, Kanye, like, saying that slavery was a choice. Yeah. You gotta be a certain type of stupid to just (laughs) run for president, honestly. Yeah. Obama was cool, he did good, but most people don't, and most people aren't. I think about Obama, I do like him. And I am a Democrat, mm-hmm. but... I never paid any attention to him. He could have secretly, like, been a rapist murderer. I have no idea. No clue. Yeah. Um, so he was in a church in his hometown. And my mom got on the church's website, and she found out that it's, like, it's it's violence against white people, sort of. Mm. Which, I mean, you know... I, I don't know what to think about that. You shouldn't... Don't be violent. Me. What? Don't be violent. Yeah, but I mean, they were sort of violent first. But yeah, just assuming that every white person is racist is racist. Yeah. I'll grab my pasta. <laughs> I, I wasn't one of those kids that like ate raw spaghetti. It's really thick, actually. This is really thick spaghetti, now that I pull it out. I think it's fancy. It's from Met Market. It looks fancy. Yeah. This looks like fancy spaghetti. It says Italy. Ugh. <laughs> Why do people do that? I, do, do people do that? I don't know. My cousin does it, but he's also really weird. <laughs> he also like can't like walk outside alone or like go places alone. How old is he? My age. That, um, that, okay. It's strange. Yeah, that's a little strange. It's definitely weird. Yeah, what's going on with your ceiling? Oh, um, I have this thing, which I would, oh, it just looks like an orb of light. But Yeah. It's like a light projector. Yeah, sort of cool. Yeah, I like it. It's fun. It makes my room really fun. My room is kind of like a void because I have no windows except for that, which is not a window. It's like they try to it up 
but it's great. I can actually bring people in through there. I can pull people out. Mm. Coming out through a hole in my wall. So there's like no natural light in here ever. So you can't tell what time of day it is. Right. Mm -hmm. And then does this that, like stars. Yeah, does that have like a day setting too where it's like a sky or is it just the stars? Um, it has a remote. I don't know what the remote is, but it changes colors. So I can make it like red and white instead of blue. But I feel like it's, I think it's the sky on accident. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I have to talk to the person who made it. Ask, ask what they think about their product. Speaking of red and white instead of blue, um, mm -hmm. two things. <laughs> Why is your hair red? And what do you think about the election? Okay. Um, election is, I'm just trying to think of words. That. <laughs> <laughs> so the election is good because it looks like Biden won other than the recount. Right. But everyone's, I feel like people are caring about it too much. Yeah. I woke up at seven and my friend um, texted me. He was like, Biden won. And I was like, okay, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like I could care less. Stop, you know, there yeah. to talk about. I should be happy, but I just, I do not care. Yeah, Nevada took too long. It took too long and it gave, mm -hmm. it, it, um, it made it boring. Yeah. Three days. But um, I do feel like by the end of it, it was super boring. But mm -hmm. first couple of days, it was sort of like a war, you know? Yeah. Day one, attention is growing high. We've mm -hmm. lost many men, you know. Yeah. On the third, I was, like, constantly checking the... I was like, who, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Where are all the votes going? Then it yeah. turns out, I know, for four days. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, okay. I also don't like that, like, Google gives you one thing while CNN mm -hmm. and other major news organizations give you another thing. Yeah, so you're confused. So I just use Google. Yeah. Because yeah. it looks better for Biden. Yeah. Also, it looks better. My mm -hmm. eyes my eyes were like, this is good. I keep doing this. And I was like, all right, eyes. Because I do whatever they say. Right. So the hair. The Why hair. Why is it red? Um, it's actually pink, but blue makes it look red, I guess. Um, I got bored. <laughs> was in Safeway and I saw pink hair dye. So I grabbed it. And then I put that hair dye in my hair now and my hair's pink. And I have <laughs> it's very pink. So it almost looks red. So right. but people don't wash their hair all the time. Mm. I mean, you're at school, that's that's a bunch of people not washing their hair, you know? Yeah. You're surrounded by people people who are not washing their hair. Yeah. I, I guess mean, you're rarely surrounded by people washing their hair. <laughs> but, I, like, you shouldn't do it every day, but just do it. Do it, do it. Yes. Shower. Not all the time, though. Just sometimes. Mm -hmm. A good amount of time. It's... It's sort of hard to hear you. You're sort of breaking in and out. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm on the school computer because my computer... um like the sound doesn't work right yeah and neither does the camera so you can't hear or see me so i was like oh, i'll use the school one yeah oh for the listeners at home not that i have any but if i did um this was originally supposed to be a live episode where we would bring a bunch of people and just talk with each other and um, but we wouldn't tell the people that we invited anything. And so I actually invited 10 people to come today. And uh, Ava is the only one who did. So thank you. Woo! And including Owen, who is supposed to be here. And it's another host. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like podcasts and I think they're fun. And I think everyone should podcast, whether yeah. you listen or do them. We had a whole school project that was podcast. Make a podcast. We said, okay. And then yeah. we didn't mm -hmm. I didn't do it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Mm. 
Dolly Parton and Michael Bublé's Christmas song. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I forgot headphones existed. Anyway, I have a Michael Bublé CD, and that's all that matters. All right, I'm going to, I'm Googling it right now. Um, Which one? I'm going to go get that Michael Bublé CD. Ah, okay, I'm going to share my screen. All right. So All right, we can with my mom. With hear my mom. this. I got this notification today on YouTube, and it is very weird. Dolly Parton. I love Dolly Parton. Yeah. But keep in mind the age difference here. What is the age difference? What is the age difference? Let's see. It's he? He? He's 74. Oh. Oh. Cozy down. He died. He died. He's 45. No, we so, oh, yeah. Why does he have great hair? Why does he have great hair then? I put this for you. I put this for you. Rare. I'm sorry, repeat. Why does he have gray hair, you said? Why doesn't he? Why doesn't he? Oh. He's so I mean, old. He's so old. You know, uh, I, it's a little bit of a racist thing to say, but black don't crack. Have you heard that phrase? Like, yeah. Maybe he's a quarter black. I am. Maybe. You, and you never, yeah. you never even knew, noticed. No. Until but, you said it. Until you said mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But yeah. everything about this is weird. It feels like a cover of um, Baby It's Cold Outside. The mm -hmm. animation is weird. Mm -hmm. The age difference is weird. And like, I like Dolly Parton, but she is not Mariah Carey. That guy, that Man, guy, looks like um, looks like that. Um, <laughs> from that, <laughs> from that movie. Uh, uh, Rudolph, Rudolph, and the red nosed reindeer, and the red nosed reindeer remake. Rudolph and the red nosed reindeer remake. You said? Yeah, the uh, yeah the uh, it was kind of scary. It was kind of scary. Oh yeah. And it had those two guys that and were like those two guys. No, and I fire, and they hit at each other. I don't remember that part. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it was maybe it's not the same thing. Fire and ice. I don't like that. There was the uh, like the snowman, and then there was mm -hmm. that the was red guy with the beard who Santa? licked everything. Uh, <laughs> no, the <laughs> the guy with the red beard. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. It? And he liked everything. Mm -hmm. He was very happy. And there was also a guy who slipped on a duck, and he hated everyone. And he might have been Santa. No, he hated Santa. I'm not said, sure because there were multiple movies that looked like that, and I know that there's like mm -hmm. a web between all of them. No. But what are they? I can only remember the Rudolph one. There's Rudolph. There's the little drummer boy. Mm -hmm. There's one with the lost toys, but that might be the little drummer toy. I think the lost toys are Rudolph. How many but... plots does that movie have? Because I feel like Rudolph <laughs> was a part of that. Yeah. It, maybe that was just like an elf. Yeah. His own thing. Oh, there was an elf in that movie too, mm -hmm. but like yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that movie was super weird. Yeah. Just get a bunch of people high and force them to write a kid's movie. Yeah. I The only thing I really remember is uh, that guy sleeping on a duck, and I don't know where he's from, but he's really scary. He has a very scary face, and is I can't see him. The Abominable Snowman? Because he was no. in that movie, too. I don't even know if he was in that movie, because... How am I supposed to, but he slept on a duck and he was mad at everyone and he hated Christmas and he took everyone's Christmas away and 
there was also oh, um, was that, uh, that sounds like the Grinch. Um, <laughs> no, he was just a normal guy. He had like a henchman. Hmm. I just remember him like falling down the stairs. Do you remember and anything? Definitely got a kiss. <laughs> uh, do you remember like what he looked like, other than him just he falling was really down? Really short and scary, and he had he was bald, balding. <laughs> Are you, are you sure that it was in this movie? Was it claymation or was it just, it just was a random? Um, it wasn't just some guy that I saw slip on a duck once and then he got mad at the duck. Scary. Oh my god, earlier in what? time. Earlier in time. Right. Like four days ago. I was with my friend and there was this, okay, we were on California, right? And mm-hmm. we were walking to Bar Drugs and we passed this lady with like no social cues, walking like we're going here, she's going this way, right? Away from Bartel Drugs. Okay. And she's just on the phone like ba 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 ba. <laughs> Shut up. No one wants to hear your conversation. But then we get to Bartel Drugs, and she turns on to the corner. She like she comes out of an alleyway, alleyway, still on her phone, still screaming at the person on the phone. <laughs> well, I. I, I don't know how it happened. I don't know where she came from. She walked away from Bartel Drugs and got there. Right. And on the phone. Still talking on the phone, on speaker, holding it up. <laughs> all over here. Yeah, I really don't like that. Because mm-hmm. whenever it is, like, it's probably never good. And then it's also, uh, you never want to hear it. Like, it's not like, juicy gossip or like um, a state official talking to the president or like it's nothing it's just like yeah it's just two people talking about like their own thing you know it'd be yeah. fun if they were yelling at each other like an argument that'd be fun you'd want to listen yeah. to that because you're mm-hmm. like oh juicy oh. gossip is people I don't care about speaking of people yelling at each other um, and like yelling at each other in public my dad and me went to the beach one time and there's this black guy that's not important to the story um there's this black guy yelling at his son like i will beat your butt and word and blah 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 and like it was really sad and hard to see but also my dad thought like when was the last time you told that kid you loved him oh that's right. so sweet. Sweet. I, um, looked up scary bald guy slips on a duck and uh, <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> I don't know if this is I know really... him. I know him. Oh, is that it? No, that's from the nightmare for no, Christmas. That's from the nightmare for Christmas. But he's bald and he's angry. And <laughs> yeah. there, were, and there yeah. was a duck in that movie that was scary. There was a duck and it was a toy. Right. But I think that duck tried to kill someone. Yeah, I mean, they all do. They all do. We all do. It's, it's Christmas. That's what you do. Yeah. Um, do you have Mr. Van this year? I do. Do you think that he is a <laughs> drunk alien learning how to speak for the first time? What? Do you think that he is a drunk alien learning how to speak for the first time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this the general consensus? I, I feel like that because it's just like the same thing over and over again. Yeah. It's like, oh, did you get it done? Well, you're supposed to get it done. And uh, yeah, science joke, science joke. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I have slept through 90% of the classes this year. <laughs> <laughs> I've been kicked out of classes. I've had people call on me and be like, hello. And I'm just dead asleep <laughs> on the <this> other <laughs> line. But um, from uh, school a lot. Yeah. And knowing the teachers is too much. I know that it was Mr. Chin's birthday. And I also know that uh, my friends, you know, HTC, how it's supposed to be for like really, really smart kids. Mm-hmm. Well, Mr. Chin also like does HTC is history. Is that one but it's the same or thing. two above? Two. All right. Yeah. But it's the same thing. 
It's just because my friend, he's an HCC. He has Mr. Chin. He does the exact same assignments as us. And I'm like, hey, you're supposed to be smart. And he's like, yeah, and you're supposed to be dumb. I'm like, that was me. <laughs> yeah. And so it's a scam, and they just want us <laughs> to get mad at each other. Mm-hmm. And also, I, I think, you know Liam? You know Mullen. Liam. Of course you know Liam. Um, no, Liam. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wallace. Yeah. 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 Well, because he got into HCC this year. And we I think sure he's did. the only person that I know that, like, mid year, like, mid middle school got into HCC, which, so that's great for him. Mm. But most of those kids were, they were just born into it, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm happy for Liam that he mm-hmm. is, gets to be in HTC, but he is already so braggy and so stuck up. Yeah. Like, does he need that, really? He already thinks that he is, even mm-hmm. though he's, like, on grade level. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I Maybe miss those just, guys. I think he might just, he might just turn into one of those HCC kids that, like, doesn't exist, because... There's an entire half of our school that, like, doesn't mm. go there. And they're all just in HCC. And I'm like, these people, that they don't go to our school. You're lying to me. <laughs> and you're lying to my face at me. No, the you... real people. The faces and everything. Mm. Do you know Mikhail? No. He is, like, blonde and he has glasses. And I think he's in HTC too. No. Um, well, he was on last time, and he's still going to Madison, but he lives on a farm in eastern Washington. He just moved over there randomly, but he's still going to Madison. Really? Yeah. I what don't if think he the, goes back. Then would he just I don't ride think a tractor he... or a horse or pig? <laughs> I don't know. You could be like Minecraft. Minecraft is a hard game. Yeah. But not so much anymore. I tried playing Minecraft again, but what are you doing? What are you doing? I got an important video to show. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm (laughs) good. (laughs) Jump down, jump down, and then say some fucking gay shit. I'm gay. Well. I feel like one of those beans that like rolls around on your hand. Does that make sense? Like the bean on your hand, and then it starts. Yeah, you do a bunch of bean tricks, and you can never make them work, and only like two kids could ever do them. Yeah. 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 That um, that was one of the things. Like when I was young, no matter what it was, I didn't I didn't know what any of it was, but I was just like, can I get that? Can we get that? Yeah, that. That beauty product, the tampon <laughs> thing. Can I? I want that one. <laughs> That's great. I've seen. Oh my god, the best thing to do is I like to just like look up like babies crying for no reason, because <laughs> it'll be like a baby crying, and the caption is like she's crying because I wouldn't let her eat her own poop, <laughs> like, and she's just falling <laughs> crying. And I'm like, why would you ever want a baby? Why would you ever want a baby? <laughs> ever. Don't. Um, that's a great way to start a sentence. I <laughs> like to look up pictures of babies crying. <laughs> I like to look at pictures of babies crying. They make me happy. Also, my like goal in life is to like be around someone's kid, right? Maybe it's a family reunion. Maybe I'm just like, oh, a baby. I want to take the. I want to be like, oh, got your nose, and then leave. Because like. <laughs> Toddlers can't understand that their nose is still there. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, right. she just stole my nose. And then I run away with their nose. <laughs> and then their mom has to explain to them that their nose is still there. <laughs> I, want, um, I want to, like, go near somebody's kids and then just say a bunch of adult things. Like, mm-hmm. um, ask your parents about what a Cleveland steamer is or what an STD is um, and then just walk away. <laughs> kids, um, I feel like kids aren't 
played with enough. They're like, oh, it's abuse. It's whatever. <laughs> because <laughs> kids are so impressionable. No what one you, ever loved Who them. says that playing with a kid is abuse? <laughs> no, not play with it, but like, see if you could fuck it up a little bit. <laughs> see if you could happen, because kids are so impressionable. And we all raise them the same way, so we all turn out pretty normal. But imagine if you didn't do that. Imagine if you just like were a complete asshole to your kid and told them everything wrong. You know, yeah, that's, go- how, that's how you make serial killers, Ava. Good plan. <laughs> no, you just you just teach them wrong. It'd be like that thing, you know that like meme where it's like, ah, but I have kids, I'm gonna tell them that this was Obama. And it's like a picture of <laughs> I can't think of um <laughs> Kanye West. Uh, a man. It's Kanye West. And Kanye West is not Obama. And my nose is itchy. His hair is too much. Noses are stupid. They're too much maintenance. They're always itchy. And it always looks like you're picking your nose. Yeah. And there's no way to win. <laughs> you can't just like itch your nose. So people are like, ew, you're picking your nose. It's like, no, I'm picking at my nose. Mm. It's itchy. Like dogs, they can sort of, they have an extra gland where they can sort of smell reasonably, not smell, smell, but smell with their mouth. And so why do they have a nose? Why do they, they like, just lick everything, dogs. Just lick everything. Just don't at all. Why do they need to smell so bad? They're dogs. Right. Can't they just look? Can we just look at things? Why do we need to smell things? My what dog are you smelling for. Is this dirty? <laughs> yes. Does it smell good? Yes. And that's about it. Right. That's kind of it. And yeah, like I'm pretty sure that most things you can sort of look at if it's dirty or if it's clean. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, but my dog has nearly no sense of smell. Really? I drop a piece of food on the ground and she's like still looking up at me and like olive right there. Ooh, ooh. And she'll like literally put her mouth like over it and nose over it, but still not recognize that it's right there. That's crazy. Yeah. My dog, oh my God. My dog's hyper alert. And today he was so weird. He was, okay, so it was like eight in the morning. I'm just trying to go to sleep. It's Saturday. You know, I want to sleep in. Right. And my dog is like right next to me and I wake up and he's shaking and he's panting. So I'm like, oh no, something's wrong with my dog. Right. So, you know, I'm like, here, here's some love, some hugs. So he walks away from me. He's like, stop touching me. (laughs) And he keeps looking at me and shaking and panting. So I'm like, do you have to go outside? No. Does he want food? No. And he's just staring at me, and it's mm-hmm. eight in the morning. So I look it up, and it's like, oh, your dog's probably hot. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> staring at me. They were like, your dog's either hot or stressed out. I'm like, I can't do anything for either of those things. I guess I could give him a dog massage, but he doesn't want me to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> so he just stood there for like an hour, and I couldn't fall asleep because then he would also like nudge me. <laughs> like, and then if I would pet him, he'd be like, no, how dare you? <laughs> no. I took my dog on like an hour and a half walk yesterday and I got lost. I did. I'm glad I brought my phone with me um, so I could look on Google Maps. But that barely even helped either because it, because it, I felt like it was showing it from the state view, you know, like mm-hmm. Washington facing the way you would see it on a big map. Yeah. But like that's not the way I'm facing. And so my right is their left. And I felt like there were streets where there weren't streets and it it yeah. I get lost all the time. I get lost all the time. And we should normalize getting lost. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're stupid if you get lost. You're just bad at not getting lost. <laughs> and that's okay. Because maps aren't always there. And street right. signs are weird and confusing. 
And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, is it that street? And then there's two of two streets. Like, I live on 56, but you can also be on 56 and it not be the street that I live on. Right. Because there's two. One thing that I don't like is that it's the way they do it. Like, it's facing this way. And so it's that street. But mm-hmm. the letters face that way. So yeah. I think that it's that street. Yeah. And the first time that I learned that, like, it wasn't the way that it makes sense, Mm -hmm. I was in a car, and then I was driving home. Well, no, I wasn't driving home. I was, like, (laughs) seven. But my mom's friend was driving us home. And I was sitting there, and she was like, oh, what street do you live on? And I was like, I don't know, uh, like, kind of over there. And she was like, what's the name of the street? And I was like, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, okay, what direction is it? And I'm like, I don't know. It's over there somewhere. (laughs) And figure it out and I'm like it's the one that's in Salita it's right over there and then she went on the wrong street because street mm-hmm. signs are stupid because it yeah. was like a seven way intersection also how they name streets like I live on 7th Avenue but the street right next to me is 7th Place and everybody always goes to 7th Place first because that's the first one that they see not mm-hmm. 7th Avenue that doesn't make sense also why, why, why can't they just stick to numbers or names Right. I live off of 56th in Dakota. No. No. <laughs> numbers and names. Pick. Pick one. Mm. It's kind of like names go one way and numbers go another way, I think, is how they did it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, cause I feel like when you're, like, walking, if you're walking back from, like, 7-Eleven, you walk along whatever street Madison is on, and you pass by a bunch of numbers. Right. Um, no, maybe it's the other way. I don't know. See, I get lost all the time. Yeah. So, don't ask me where things are. I don't know how people did it. Like, uh, Jim Morrison, I believe is his name, the lead singer of The Doors. Uh, like, every year he took a trip across America, like, 5,600 miles or however long it was. Crazy amount of distance. But he would get there through hitchhiking. Like, how do you know the road so well and know which way to go? And, like, how do you do that? I was not scared. Hitchhiking? Yeah. I would have been like, every single person that I see wants to and will kill me. (laughs) That's my mindset. I walk outside, every person that I see wants to and will kill me. Mm -hmm. So I'd always be alert. Always. I was bring a pocket knife or something. <laughs> I'm asking my parents to get me mace, and they're like, okay, and they never get me mace. And I'm like, that'd be convenient. But, right. yeah. I guess tasers are cooler. My mom is a taser. That's <laughs> <laughs> a fun fact about my mom. One time my dad was driving drunk, um, and I hope <laughs> he doesn't sir. watch this and get mad at me for saying this, but uh, he fell asleep at the wheel at the four-way stop at the junction, and the police came up and tasered him in the back like eight times until his shirt was covered in blood. Like, you don't do that. He, was, he didn't wake up? He, he it woke and, like, him up. He didn't, yeah. Uh, a good shake would wake him up. A good shake yeah. would also leave his back bloody. A little slap? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> not tasing them. Mm-hmm. Then people pass out from being tased? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like people have passed. Like, I, I feel like I've seen TV shows where someone goes, and then they fall to the ground. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's passing out, but yeah. Well, and, I'm saying wouldn't tasing not be the most effective way? Because people are yeah. also become unconscious because they were tased. And you're trying to wake someone up by tasing them. <laughs> Like kind of trying to wake someone up with a lullaby. It's like it might work because it's noise. But then again, it's a lullaby. So right. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like past generations were very, very different from us. I know that's pretty obvious, but like, um, we're locked indoors all day, and we tell mm-hmm. our parents where we go. They just like rode off on a bike all day. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Um, and that's what my dad does. He's like just. Be back before <laughs> uh, sometime. He, I yeah. don't have a curfew. He's just like, don't be gone too long. 
Yeah, neither do I. But he also, like, you know, he also follows the rules of, like, oh, it's go bike and go knock on your friend's door and then they'll just be there. And it's like, well, first of all, that's not how it works. I can't just text someone and be like, hey, uh, let's go out right now. You know, it takes more coordination than that. Right. I need my parents, I need their parents to say yes, but also with COVID and then also we need to find somewhere to hang out, you know? Mm-hmm. And also they live like far out far, so I can't just like go and knock on their door. And then if they're not there, then I just, what the fuck, I walk back home? <laughs> no, I already went out. I don't have any money. I'm 14, I don't have any money. Where would I get money? Right. A job, I guess. Yeah, that's my dad too. Like his generation was always out exploring in the world. Mm. And so he's- I have a phone. Feels, he feels bad for me that I'm stuck indoors when I should be out doing eighth grader things. Mm. No, my dad just doesn't like me in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so he just kind of like wants me to be gone. Because most dads like don't have friends, right? Like most dads are just like there. Most parents are just there and like our parents, you know? Right. But our parents are divorced and they both are in AA, which is basically just like a group full of cool people who do drugs. I, I, I <laughs> remember I'm posting so this like, on the internet. Um. <laughs> they have like entire lives that they want to go live. And then they also have a kid, you know, mm. so they mm. can't, my dad and do both with his life. I didn't hear the last part. I have to leave because he has a life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The story. I have to leave my house because he has better things to do. <laughs> and I'm 14. So I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to be. Mm. Yeah. And also, I feel like making friends is more difficult than they think it is. Y'all right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I just, blankets are heavy and I'm cold. Um, I live in the basement, so I don't really have heating. Or a window. <laughs> <laughs> I also have open window. Um, I... Where was I? What? Okay. You go. You speak. Um, I sort of, I got to leave here reasonably soon. We can keep on talking for a little bit, but um, reasonably soon. All right. Just let me know. I can't imagine why someone would say no to being on a podcast. Why would you say no? That's such a fun thing. You're not going to get that every day. Right. Um, well, some people, they were busy and... Doing what? <laughs> yeah. Three, pe three people uh, responded. Or four people, I mean. Two said maybe. You and another guy said yes, but he did not get back to me. And he's mm. not here. Um, but the other seven seven people uh, didn't, and they just didn't respond. Because people aren't cool. People, like, they do things because people tell them to, you know what I mean? Right. So when I feel like, I feel like when people are introduced with new things, and I feel like it's why change is so difficult for people. Right. Because it's like, for our whole lives, it's like people are taught to do this, and then to this, and then this. And then so our parents also live by this, 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 this. So then they teach us, like, this is what you do. This is what you don't do. You know, and then you also got to make your own decisions. But then our own decisions are still decided by what other people think and tell us to do. Right. Yeah. So I feel like when people are introduced to something new, and no one's ever told to listen to podcasts. You know what I mean? Right. Like, no one... Podcasts, people don't tell you to listen to podcasts. Right. Like, oh, I heard this new thing where it talks for an hour and a half about nothing. You've got to hear it. <laughs> yeah, because you really do <laughs> have to, like, listen to your own podcast. You can't recommend people podcasts. Because mm. it's, it's your own thing. I like podcasts for my reasons, not yours. I don't know what you like to listen to. Right. Because it's a very personal thing because it's such a, you really just sit with yourself and listen to it. Maybe you're, like, writing or doing something, but either way, you're just listening to the podcast, really. Yeah, it's not like old-timey days where you all gathered around the radio and listened to whatever what was on. 
and did your own thing. So, a lot of people don't listen to podcasts or, like, pay attention to them or care about them at all because they're never told that they should. Right. Or that they have any reason to go out and explore new things. So then when you're like, hey, look at this thing that you could be a part of, they're like, I don't know. No, thanks. No, because I, I got my own stuff. Right. I got my stuff. I already know because this is what I've already been told to do. So I'm doing this. I'm going to keep doing it forever. Mm. Cans are hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I can get a can. Okay. I was about to say very insightful conversation, then you brought up the cans. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta edit a fun note. Um, well, do you want to do the send off? All right. Is there? It's just like oh, uh, bye. Mm-hmm. But like a creative goodbye. Okay. Um, if you fall off the wagon, don't get back on. It's more fun when you're off. Um, well said. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>